Hi guys, this is Shivadi. Welcome to the session on Jenkins Pipeline project to deploy the var file into Tomcat automatically. In this session, I will be focusing on how you can create a Jenkins Pipeline project and we need to write the pipeline script or the Jenkins file to provide the sequence of steps from the cloning the project from the GitHub or the big bucket till the deployment of the var file into the Tomcat server. So in order to show this demo, I created a project called Jenkins var, which is a Maven project. And it is a, it is basically a web project. It is very basic web project, which contains this display message. That is the, that is all about this project. But we are going to use Jenkins pipeline, pro, uh, Jenkins pipeline to build, to clone the GitHub repository project into your uh, Jen, your Jenkins and then packaging, which is nothing but creating the var file and then deploying that var file into the Tomcat server and then start the Tomcat server. These are the steps we are going to specify in the pipeline script or the Jenkins file. Now, if you see here, the first stage is check out the code from the SEM where I have given my GitHub URL. If you have any other uh, URL, then you can specify this one. And the second stage is, is about the to compile the project and also create the var file. So for this, we are using the Maven project. So first we have to get the Maven environment and then using this Maven home, we can call the maven command as a package. So this stage basically create as the var file. Once we created the var file, we have to copy this var file into the target Tomcat server. So in order to deploy the var file into the Tomcat, we are going to use the windows command copy from this location to the target location. And if you see the Tomcat web, I already defined this Tomcat web information in the above. So if you see here, this is the Tomcat web, which is nothing but the till the web enough folder, we are going to copy the uh, var file to the web, web apps folder. And then in order to execute the uh, Tomcat command, still we have to give in the bin path. Now, once you are deploying the var file into the web apps folder, we have to execute this command to start the Tomcat server. So these are the steps which is involved in the pipeline script. Now let us go ahead and see how you can create a pipeline project in the Jenkins. So my Jenkins in my local, Jenkins is running on localhost 8080. I'm going to log in into the Jenkins. And make sure that you have the latest Jenkins uh, while you are uh, while you are following this demo, because when you take the latest uh, Jenkins, automatically all the plugins required for the um, GitHub and also the pipeline uh, related stuff automatically will be added. Now let us go ahead and uh, create a project. Click on this new item. And before going here, we need to add the two tools, actually one for the uh, click on this manage Jenkins. And then go to the global tool configuration here. We need to have the two, two, two tools we have to configure one for the Git and another one for the Maven. So first I will show you how you can configure these uh, tools global tool configuration and if you go to here git here you have to specify the um, executable path for your git so where you have installed the git in your locally that path we have to give for the git and second one is the maven so you go to the here the uh, maven and you need to specify the name because the same name will be used as part of our 
pipeline script. If you see here, it is a maven-3. So make sure that when you are configuring the global tool configuration, the name should match. And also you can say install automatically, then Jenkins will be taken care of downloading the, um, downloading the proper version while executing this project. So once you configure these two tools from the global tool configuration, now we can go ahead and create the pipeline project. So click on the new item. So this is pipeline Tomcat demo, Tomcat deployment demo. Here choose the pipeline and click OK. Now come to the pipeline step and here the definition you can say pipeline script or the pull from the pipeline script from the SEM. So choose this one because we added the Jenkins file in the as part of our code base. So choose the option pipeline script from SEM and then it will ask you about the SEM details. So here the version uh, control tool what we are using is the git. So once you choose the option git, it will ask you for the repository URL. Now go to this Jenkins var project from uh, in the GitHub and here we can able to find the clone URL. So copy this URL and paste it here. As this is the public um, project we no need to enter any credential otherwise just make sure that you add the uh, credential for your private project and then you need to choose this credential option so once this is done here we have to say this is a script path is nothing but the Jenkins file okay so that's all you just uh, save this file and now we can go ahead and build the project. But before that, in order to see the, uh, in order to deploy the var file onto the Tomcat server, you need to have the special permission. So for that reason, what I have done in, in my case is, I have created a user called as a admin and admin. I have given the roles as manager GUI and manager status. So in order to connect it to the Tomcat server to see the what are the deployments happened, we need to have a super, uh, super permission. For that user, we need to have like a manager GUI and manager status. So with this, I'm going to log into the server to show you the deployment happened properly and also we can open that particular URL. Now let us go ahead and yeah so once this is done and another point is as in my local I am running the Jenkins on 8080 port number that's the reason I changed the port number to the port number to Tomcat server with 8085 that means once my deployment is done I can able to access the Tomcat on this particular port. Now let's go ahead and build this project now. So just to click on this build now, then automatically it will start executing the this pipeline stages, pipeline script stages, whatever we have written, it will start each stage. Now the first step is it is connecting to the SEM and check out the code to the local Jenkins and then it is compiling the code and creating the var file and the next step is copying the var file to the uh, Tomcat web apps folder so next step is deploy to the Tomcat and now it is starting the Tomcat server 
Now if we can go to the Tomcat, this is the port basically in my local it is executing. Now when I access this one, the Tomcat server is up and we can go to the manager app. And then if I see here, the Jenkins where this is the project just now we deployed. When we click on this one, it automatically redirecting to this context path like Jenkins successfully deployed where file into Tomcat. So now let us go ahead and change some description here and see whether this is really the project what we are referring or not. So just to confirm. Let us go here and change some description. Okay, so Tomcat using pipeline project. Let us commit this file. Now let us go to the Jenkins again. So one more thing we need to um, be careful here is that as we are executing this, um, executing the Tomcat, uh, Tomcat process from the Jenkins, once the pipeline process completes, the Tomcat server automatically stop. That is the reason what we have to do is instead of running as a separate um, Tomcat uh, instance through the console, you can create it as a service. Once you create the service, you can start and stop the service using the same commands like, I'll explain that part in a while. Let us go ahead and run this project once again and see when we, this time when it is deploys, it should reflect the changes whatever we have done on, on the GitHub. I have issue with the uh, network connectivity. That is the reason this time Jenkins job is failed. Now let us go ahead and build once again. Now this time it is again going to repeat the same steps. SEM checkout and then compiling the code and creating the var file. and then deploying the var file onto the Tomcat server. Now this time if you see it automatically identifies there is a new commit happened on the GitHub. That's the reason it shows the uh, one commit message is there. and deploying to the Tomcat is done. Now it is starting the Tomcat server. Now let's go ahead and refresh this project again. That means refreshing the Tomcat server. Okay, so manager app and then Jenkins. Okay, so this time it is updated. So this is how you can um, you can deploy the var file using pipeline project. One thing I explaining previously is now if you see here the Tomcat server actually come up with like a console and it is open upon your one window. And this scope is as long as this pipeline script is running only that time it will be visible. Once the pipeline job completes, completes, then automatically it will terminate this process. Instead of that, first what you can do is you can install Tomcat as a service in your Windows machine and then you can use 
service.bat to start or stop based on your requirement so that you don't experience this issue. Otherwise, if you use this way, once this Jenkins job completes, then this window automatically will be terminated. If you say just wait for another few seconds, then it will be terminated. That's the reason better to install Tomcat as a service and then use service.bat instead of startup.bat in the uh, Jenkins file. I'll show you that. Okay. If you go to the Jenkins var, here we have the Jenkins file. Here what I am, the command I am giving is the startup, uh, startup.bat command I am giving. Instead of that, you can use service.bat and you can specify start or stop based on your requirement. You can change these commands. So hope you clear with how you can use Jenkins pipeline project to deploy var file into Tomcat environment. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.